Stay away from it, dude. Ooh, more sheep. Oh, oh stay, hey, stay away from me, whammy. My, what? Reach hacks! Reach hacks! Alright. We're basically play, we're basically playing tag right now. This is infuriating, I can't catch up with him. Dude, the service, service popping right now. Hey! Stop running away! Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> Who's that? Well, Gory's over here. The whole gang's over here. <laughs> Why me? Get, get back here. Oh, he got stuck. Big, big mistake. Big mistake. Oh, he got stuck. <laughs> big, big, He's gonna sit there. big mistake, buddy. Big mistake. Where, where did he log out? It's all good. I've, I've got it covered. Big mistake. <laughs> Do you leave? <laughs> Hello, Gory. <laughs> He's just sneaking past me. <laughs> Oh, Whammy joined. Oh, he's so dead. He's so dead for real. He's so dead. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> were you re please tell me you're recording that. I think so, yeah. <laughs> no. <it's> <laughs> <laughs> That's just what happens. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode here on the Back to Beta server. We've just ridden the massive railway that Mr. Saturday has been working on. It goes all the way to spawn and basically connects up to my place as well. Um, and we've ridden it all the way to Mr. Saturday's base, which I'm not sure if I have uh, shown you guys this on uh, on on my videos, but I'm you know hopefully you guys are following Mr. Saturday and have seen his. Uh, has seen his videos, but his place is awesome. It's such a cool place. It also lines up with mine, who is right there. There he is. Um, so yeah, we're at Mr. Saturday's place. This is insane. Look at this. This is an ice bridge. Oh my god. I know the I know the pains of building ice sculptures and things. <laughs> it takes so long in beta. But uh, yeah, this is Mr. Saturday's place. He's got this really cool like kingdom looking place over here. Um, highly recommend checking out his videos. They're really entertaining for sure. Mine is, is just lurking over there. I sure him. He's, he thinks I can't see him. I can see him. Um, but yeah, I'm coming over here because Mr. Saturday has allotted some plots uh, that mine is possibly working on right now. Yes, he is. That's a, that's a brand new build that I haven't seen before. Um, Mr. Saturday has got some plots for us to basically work um, and build our own sort of structures here. So it's like a collaborative project a little bit. So this is uh, Ryan's plot here. Uh, that's mine right here. Nice. Very cool. Um, what does the sign say? Do not have to be the same style. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like mine's building some kind of a I don't know, some sand brick kind of thing. Uh, I think this was Gory? Yeah, this was Gory. He built some interesting, colourful looking house here, which I quite like. It's quite unique. He's even used like obsidian in the ground. How interesting is that? Um, and then, I guess this is for someone else as well if they want to build, and egg thing is there. Nice. So yeah, we're, we're over here right now. I've got some materials, um, and I'm just going to place it down here because um, I want to obviously add my own space um, in my own build um, at some point. So yeah, I'm, build I'm putting this here. I have no idea what I want to build. I might try and emulate the style of uh, of my builds in in my base, so it sort of brings my base a little bit closer to here. Um, that was a big lag spike. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. We'll see. I might I might decide to build in a different style um, because obviously I've been building a lot in my regular style. But yeah, uh, it'll be cool once all these builds are in place. Alright, but before I get started building in Mr. Saturday's area, I have to show you guys the progress that I've been making in our area. I've officially finished the train station, um, apart from one more detail, which I'll uh, let you know in a second. But before we look at that, um, I just wanted to point out that I've made this uh, pathway that goes all the way to spawn. So now I'm finally collect connected to spawn after like... A year and a half or like a year and a bit so yeah we've got this pathway that goes all the way here to the train station um, I've also added uh, I might as well show this first actually I've got we've got this nice little uh, exterior 
to the train station, which is cool. And I've changed this up. I remember in the last, uh, well, not the last episode, but the episode before that, um, I changed all of this from being uh, dirt back to sand. And now I've changed it all to pathways. And I think this looks much better. And then in here, I've also got lighting. So at night, way less mobs spawn. It's way safer. Um, mine is jumping for joy right now. Uh, but yeah, we've got all these pathways all the way around, and it looks really good now. I think it looks way cleaner, and I think it just, yeah, just frames everything much nicer. So yeah, happy to have done that. I might quickly show you guys what it looks like at night without having to wait. Yeah, so this is what it looks like at night. Nice and lit up, which is cool. Um, especially around like where my storage system and things are. Um, the train station still needs some time lighting up, but I am happy to call it as a project kind of done. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's have a look on the inside. I'll show you the kind of changes I've made. So first of all, I got rid of all of the torches and I replaced it with glowstone. Um, and I like this kind of trapdoor effect where there's only trapdoors on sort of two of them. It kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, two of the sides. It kind of, I don't know, keeps things thin, um, which looks good. Um, I added this carpet in. I almost forgot about this. I added this carpet in and you'll see that there's, um, I kind of want to break up this sort of, gray tone um, ground we have here. So I, I got this wool and I put it in the middle, which I think looks really good. And I kind of made it go into uh, into the build a little bit as well. But yeah, we've got this green carpet, which I think looks nice. Got some decorations um, all the way around. And yeah, we've got like a little table and chairs sort of waiting, some books um, while you wait. Um, there's been a little bit of progress on this rail. I think this goes pretty much all the way to docks. Um, it just needs to link up. She's making a train station. Um, it just needs to link up with hers, which is cool. And I also dug the tunnel to the stadium, um, but I haven't uh, haven't got an exit point for it just yet. Yeah, there's also the glowstone that's here, sort of goes up and down, which is cool. And as you can see on the top layer, I also kind of emulated it, so it looks almost like a mirrored effect. It's a little bit hard to see, but. I feel like you can subtly kind of see it when you're looking at it. Um, but yeah, I think that was really cool. And then, yeah, we've got the green carpet coming all through here. Now, I tried to make this completely spawn-proof. So, yeah, there's uh, glowstone behind the walls here, which is cool. And for the most part, I think this is pretty spawn-proof. Obviously, outside isn't, so mobs can kind of walk in. But if, as far as the interior goes, it's pretty spawn-proof. Um, now, when I go up the water stream, up the little water elevator... So now we're up here, I've got these sort of hanging pumpkins, which I think are pretty cool. I wanted to use more pumpkins in that, because I think, I think some of the, sometimes builds can get a bit too serious. So when you slap a pumpkin in there, it's just, it just instantly makes it a bit more fun, which I like. Um, but yeah, we added some, some sort of lighting in here, got some hidden lighting behind the painting. And I, this is the only point I would opted to use torches, which I think looks good. Uh, now you're probably wondering why there's this floating, uh, purple wool here. This is to signify where I'm going to eventually put my, my nether portal. Uh, once I feel like I want to reconnect to the, to the nether on the server. Although even once I reconnect, I feel like I might not use it as much. But, um, yeah, this is where it's going to go. We're going to have the one wide, uh, three tall portal and yeah I kept this sort of an open air um, sort of thing up here which I kind of like and I like the arches of the wood um, yeah I didn't really know what to do with this space it was kind of a little bit difficult to deal with but I think in the end it's turned out quite nice especially with those trap doors kind of breaking the uh, cobblestone from the sandstone which is nice and then we've got a couple of couple of little pumpkins down the end as well <laughs> So yeah, as far as aesthetics and the overall kind of build is concerned, um, I'm I, I'm happy to call this kind of done. Oh, I forgot there's also a garden up the top, which is kind of cool, which has, uh, that's where the glass is. It's kind of like holes in the roof, so it's a bit brighter in there. Um, but yeah, as far as this project is concerned, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with how it's how how it's gone. Um, all that's sort of left to do is light up the outside a little bit, which. Um, will only take a little extra detail and then um, make all the train, you know, train stations go to, all the rails go to different places. So, yeah, that's going to be, you know, an ongoing project, but I'm pretty happy with how this is, uh, how this has turned out in the end. Also, I forgot to mention that Solstialis, the latest member of the Back to Beta server, gave me a little gift. Look at all these little cookies and some pumpkins and I assume, uh, what's that, the pink, yeah, pink sheep wool. So that's cool. 
gave me a little gift for uh, for a thanks for the gift that we gave him a couple episodes back. So yeah, thanks, Soul Cialis. Alright, so here we are with our modern style house that I've built in Mr. Saturday's area. Um, now this house is based on a Reddit post that I saw a long time ago now. I cannot remember um, whose Reddit post it was. I've been searching for a long time. Um, but yeah, I, I remember seeing a house that was very similar to this and it's sort of stuck in my mind. So I thought I'd go with that style and I think it's looking really cool. So yeah, I've, I haven't really built in this style at least for a very long time. And uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's looking cool. So yeah, Box, Box Blair's a modern style house. I saw everyone else had signs on their houses. So thought I would uh, I would add that. This is the interior, as you guys saw. Um, there's uh, you know some bookshelves. Obviously, this is quite a rich person's house. There's a rug. Um, a nice view out this way. I think this is like a perfectly preserved like view right here. So um, yeah, hopefully it doesn't get too obscured by anything. But uh, yeah, and then like a little kitchen here. I was thinking of making this a uh, a furnace. That, uh, like a forever lit furnace, but um, I don't have any pistons with me, so um, I didn't end up doing that. Um, the staircase is a little janky, but I do like that there's like kind of the window out here, so you can still kind of get a view of the things that are going on outside. Um, and then, yeah, the upstairs is a little bit boring. Um, I made this a slab floor, so there's not really a whole lot you can do. There's a nice little window out here as well, um, which is cool. And then, yeah, up here, this is a nice little view. Obviously, there's a massive... Uh, tower right there, which is so cool to see. Um, I tried to make this lit, um, but it kept catching fire to all of these. I didn't want to make this all um, cobblestone, and then it kept catching fire. So, um, yeah, it's just kind of like a to-be-possibly-lit uh, place. And then the roof, pretty un uh, uninteresting. Just a regular kind of bland roof, but uh, yeah. Now, I've left a lot of the area around the build completely untouched because obviously Mr. Saturday is going to come through and uh, put in pathways and things as he sees fit. Um, so that's what, you know, I've sort of left that all up to him to do. And obviously he can adjust this however he likes. This is his area. So, um, yeah, it's, this is just a suggested build, really. He can, uh, if he wants to adjust this or move it or, you know, change it in any way, of course he can do that. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys really like this build. And um, I just want to quickly say thank you for the massive amount of support on my last video, which was the Modern Beta World Tour. Um, that video performed so well compared to... Uh, um, a lot of my other videos, so thank you very much and welcome to all the newcomers. Um, I hope you are, um, you know, interested in beta and I hope you're excited for, uh, for checking out some beta content, so yeah. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!